Welcome again to my cooking zone. Today we're going to be reviewing The Undertaker's 30th anniversary commemorative WWE. But also I'm going to be making a couple of dishes that complement The Undertaker's theme and The Undertaker's wine. WWE Wines released a special edition Undertaker wine, also an Ultimate Warrior wine. This one is a special 30 barrel wine done to celebrate The Undertaker's recent retirement and his 30th year career. I found out about this wine by watching the Stunkle podcast. That's when I was like, whoa, I need to get some of that because The Undertaker has been a huge inspiration in my life. And I also grew out my hair because of The Undertaker. And I love doing the, uh, when I'm trying to imitate The Undertaker. The bottle itself is themed in purple and black based on the old school Undertaker look. And each bottle comes dipped in like a wax. So when I'm drinking wine, like I like having a cool looking bottle. And this bottle is just really well done. It fits the Undertaker theme so well. It looks evil, it looks classy, and it just looks dark. And it also glows in the dark. And this wine was actually made in 2018, and it was bottled in Lodi, California, and it's a Cabernet so, so, it's a Cab. Usually when I go to the bar, I just ask for a glass of Cab because I don't have time to say, hey, give me a glass of Cabernet Sauvignon. And that just means that the wine is gonna be a lot richer and smoother in flavor. And I like wines that are just soft and smooth and just rich. One interesting thing to note is that I got two of these bottles because you have to buy them in a pack. But this bottle specifically is bottle number 13. That makes it kind of like special. So I'm just gonna try to cut this as carefully as I can because I don't wanna ruin this cap. And I don't wanna cut towards me. Can I even... I don't want this to fly off. There we go. Tried my best to get it out. So I've been lucky to actually have seen The Undertaker wrestle a few times. My first time was in 98 at a house show. This is around the time where um, they were building up for WrestleMania 14. And then the last time I saw him was against uh, RVD at Vengeance 2001. And I just broke the cork. This is already a good start. I'm just take a little smell of it. Oh wow, that is super rich. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit of this wine into a flute. And I like my flutes chilled because I like my wine cold. The taste of the Undertaker's wine now. Oh wow, it's super smooth. It feels like if you were to run across the ring and do the Undertaker dive. I've had bottles of wine that were like $150 and ten dollars and in the end it's the same thing. So our first drink is going to be called the Old School. Now if you know The Undertaker you know that recently he's been doing a lot of interviews where he's out of character and he's just being himself. So for this drink we're going to need some whiskey. Then you need a shot glass because the Old School is just a shot of whiskey. If you've never had whiskey before imagine getting a big boot to the face, a choke slam, and a tombstone at the same time. So this is the old school. This next drink is called the Big Evil. Big evil winning. You're gonna take whiskey again, pour about maybe two, three ounces, not that much. And wait, I messed that up. You're actually gonna need some ice cubes first. And I'm gonna pour this whiskey back, some of the wine. And this is gonna be like, almost half and half. Whiskey and wine is a weird combination, but it's a powerful drink because you're mixing whiskey and wine. So that's why it's called the Biggie. Our next drink is called the Booger Red Pepper Jack. Oh, Booger Red. And this is a drink that I learned from the guys in Eucharist and it contains whiskey and Dr. Pepper. But since this is Undertaker based, we're gonna mix in the wine as well. I'm gonna be using this Stone Cold mug because it ties in with every single feud that the Undertaker's had with Stone Cold. You always wanna put your ice in first. So you start off by pouring your whiskey in here first. And then you pour in your Dr. Pepper. This is what's gonna give it that red feel to it. Add in a splash of the Undertaker wine. This is the Booger Red Pepper Jack. 
With the drinks already set up, we're gonna make some food now that complements the Undertaker wine and the Undertaker theme overall. The first food we're gonna make is gonna be Dead Man Nachos. Dead Man. For this, you're gonna need blue corn tortilla chips, cilantro, a lemon, tomato, one whole avocado, cheddar cheese, and for the meats, I'm gonna be using some seitan. So this is gonna be a vegan meat. I know it's not real meat, but that's what I'm gonna be using. That's cheap. To start off, we have to cut our avocado, squish them out of the uh, skin, grab our tomato. I'm just gonna cut it down the middle. Start dicing this tomato. You know, I shouldn't have cut the tomato that way. We grab our cilantro, give it a quick wash. Cut a couple of pieces of cilantro. Always clean as you go. Pretty much just mash everything together. Look at this. And grab your lemon. Squeeze your lemon in there. Mix that up in there as well. And you should have healthily awesome taste. Of Guacamole nacho dip. Now for the meat that is going to go on the nachos, oil your pan first. But you're going to crumble it up before you actually drop it in there, just so that everything cooks evenly. Seasoning as well. And we just wait for it to cook. So I'm using these because they look kind of black. For the cheese, I'm just going to pour a bunch of cheese into a bowl. And I'm just going to put this bowl in the microwave. Now that our meat is done, we can actually drop in some of the guacamole in the middle. Wait, does the guacamole go last or first? You know, you can just do whatever you want. Now once you have that ready, you can actually drop your cheese on top. And there you go, these are dead man nachos. I thought it'd be really cool to complement all that with one extra dish, the American Badass Burger. American Badass! You're gonna need some hamburger buns, some lettuce, tomato, pepper jack, cheese, vegan maize. For the meat, I'm gonna be using veggie patties and every single condiment from JR's Barbecue. I don't think Portland's gonna know what hit it after tonight. Heat up our pan, drop some on the north. So we add some butter to this pan, mix it around, we drop in the actual patty. While those are grilling, we're gonna grab our hamburger bun. We wanna just pick up some of the butter and splash it over the patties. We grab our cheese and we throw it over each patty. Now we prepare our veggies. We just want the nice looking leafy green part of it. Just two slices of tomato. Take this off the heat so that it doesn't burn. Take my two buns that are just perfect. I'm gonna grab some vegan maize, slather it on one bun. Do a little bit of the uh, main event mustard. Uh, I don't know why I'm trying to take the cap off of that. Chipotle ketchup. Put our first patty on the bun. Drop a little bit of barbecue sauce on there. Tomato, lettuce on top of the tomato. And then we grab our second patty. Some more barbecue sauce. Another tomato, another lettuce. You top it off with your bun. And that is the American Badass Burger. And there we have it, a complete meal in the theme of The Undertaker using The Undertaker's 30th anniversary wine. A couple of drinks that are the Brothers of Destruction to two plates of food that complement the theme as well as the drinks. Oh, I just spilled a little bit. So now I'm gonna try the burger, and the burger, it's it's a little bit messy because it's really, really tall. But let me whoa, whoa, try some whoa. of this. What's going on? What kind of terrible crap this guy again? Why? Did you make now? Why? Look at this. Wine, these these I, I don't really want to try these things. They know what they're talking about. Disgusting. And this food is. Well, I, I thought this channel. That's already a great start.